honestly december <laughs> what are you doing because i'm i'm i don't i don't understand what's up everybody this is your girl ej and really quickly i wanted to discuss something i saw on tiktok um it was unrealistic things i want for christmas so i want to discuss that but also mine is unrealistic things i want for christmas but also i want to time travel because I, I need to do a few things over if you drink coffee you're gonna have a bowel movement i just i don't it's not related to the video mm -hmm. Also, as of lately, my consistency <laughs> has been like a deadbeat dad. You know, you you, you don't know if he's coming or not. <laughs> I know he said he was coming, but you don't you don't really know. Like, do I get dressed or do I just kind of wait till I hear him pull up and then get dressed? I'm, I'm with you. All right, for me, the unrealistic things that I want for Christmas uh, is time travel. Why do I want time travel? Because I want to go back and not loan no money out i'm drowning in bills i'll say for 80 percent of the people that i have loaned money to they have not paid me i want to go back in time right and and tell myself girl don't do it loaning money borrowing money is stressful for both parties in my opinion um and you you, you do go on with life you do you do forget you you, you be done forgot about a few things. How you forget about borrowing money? I don't, I don't, I don't know. For me, it's awkward. When I see someone and they owe me money, I want to say, oh, hey, they're such and such. Oh, look at her kids. They've gotten so big. Or, oh, they're such and such. Hey, girl. You know, but in my mind, I'm like, they're such and such. <laughs> I wonder do she remember that she owed me some money. I wonder do she, I wonder do she plan on giving me my money back. And I don't want to be like that. Another unrealistic time traveling thing that I would do uh, if I could have my way is go back and not spend money on stupid stuff. Like a lot of times I would get online, you know, you see maybe your favorite YouTuber or the makeup guru or the hair guru. Everybody saying, oh, you need this. You got to have it. You can't live without it. Girl, I was living without it. Why did I buy it? Because I was living without it. Especially being a YouTuber, I done bought so much equipment. I done bought so many lenses, so many this, so many that um, to, you know, support my channel and make my, my videos and my content look good. And girl, I don't even use half of the stuff. I, I want to go back and not buy those things. That's, that's what I want to do. Getting away from the money, I would also like to go back <laughs> and finish some arguments a little bit better. Is, is it petty? Yes, yes. Do we care over here at this channel? Mm -mm, Cause I said what I said. You know how you can hit below the belt. Like I would hit below the below, the below the belt. Cause a lot of times we try to be the bigger person. And no, I'm not gonna get on her level. No, I'm gonna do it. No, I'm just gonna let her act crazy by herself. No, I, she's being ignorant. I'm not gonna be ignorant with her. Sometimes you need to though, cause it feel good when you do it. Even even some bosses, some former bosses. Oh, I want to say their name. It's just one. If I could go back to that day of getting fired, because y'all, <laughs> y'all know I'll be getting fired. If I could go back to that day in her office, instead of being so nonchalant and just kind of going with the flow, girl, I would have, I, girl, I would have cussed her out in three different languages. I would have, I, I would have broke every pencil. I would have stole her staplers. Y'all are going to jail. Another thing I would do is shut up. Because, ooh, I done told some stuff. I done told some secrets. I done revealed some things to some people that did not des- Ooh, they just- I wish when I was talking to those people, somebody would cut my mic off. Because now you get you get years later in life. And when you see these people, that's the only thing you think of. Oh my God, I told her that. And they probably don't remember or they don't care. But that's all you think of if you ever see this person. Oh my God, she's, she, she's remembering what I told her. And she probably just trying to figure out you know, if it's time for her to get an oil change, she probably not even thinking about you. But if I could go back and unsay some things, I definitely would. All right, last one. <clears throat> and it's probably the realest one uh, for those of you who have conversations like this. If I could go back and not have intercourse. <laughs> ah! Because what was I thinking? What kind of crack? What kind of meth? Sometimes you really just be looking at yourself like, you, you stupid idiot. <laughs> and I know, you know, if truth be told, you know, sometimes we may look at, you know, someone with, that we've shared that intimate space with. And, you know, today it's just like, 
Like if, if he even if he even if he even bought bread on the same aisle as me, I would I would call the police. He can't even come near me. He if he if he asked me what time it was, I would call the police on him. Hello, nine one one. It's just like oh my god, there there's no way you could get me today. <laughs> you, you got me then. You you would never. You wouldn't get me today. All right, guys. Now, as always, I want to hear from you. What is something that is unrealistic? What's your unrealistic Christmas list? Okay. What, what What's something you know you can't have? <laughs> no, you can't go and get, but you still want it. You ain't, ain't no harm in wanting it. What you want? Talk to me. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. This is your girl, EJ, and I will see you guys next time. When is next time? Mm-hmm.